Defense Counter. Can you talk to us a little bit about this news? Um, how does how does CBS affect the fighting game community, the whole CBS Twitch deal? I think the community is going to be hurt because they feel as if their um, their right to express themselves, you know, will be hampered and policed, and they want to be able to say whatever they have to say. But at the same time. You know, that can't happen because it hurts a lot of the people that's involved, you know, inside the gaming scene, both professionally and just from, you know, you know, an administrative level, guys like Spooky who, you know, puts out his heart and a lot of time to work hard to do what he's doing in terms of, you know, you know, Team Spooky's so same thing for Alex Maillet. And then other players who pretty much manage um, any talent, any brands out there, these people get affected along with the players. So that's going to hurt them on a community level, on an industrial level. In order for this to reach the level of, you know, like Korea for StarCraft, it has to go in this direction. MLG has been pioneering this direction, you know, for professional gaming for the last 10 years. And to be very honest with you, this is the best thing to happen for gamers. And I'm not just talking about fighting games. I'm just talking about gaming, period, throughout the entire nation. Um, it's it's, it's going to affect the fighting game community the, um, the best because fighting games is something that a lot of people like to watch. It's very entertaining. Of all the competitive games that are out there, fighting games are the most entertaining. The people involved in it are the most colorful. And um, only in the fighting game community do you get this, you know, the, the slangs and the pop-offs and the drama and the entertainment. It's like WWE sports. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> Counter.